All right, here goes part two. My phone has been going goofy lately. There's a way you can ask it for help, and it keeps going to that. So I, I didn't have it in my phone case, so maybe that was part of the problem. All right, here we go. Now, this is part two, remember, of Suzette's unboxing because I won her 400th subscriber. So here's, here's what I got. She just put them in. That wasn't part of two begonia cuttings and the Cebu Blue that has roots on. You can see the roots in there. I'm all prepared with water here, Suzette. I was worried because we've had a drought. The grass is dry. The leaves are falling on the trees in the back because there's no water. All right, let's see if I can get the Black Pagoda Lipstick plant with just my hand. Oops. Sorry. I'm one-handed. I don't know how people who have a disability, especially our poor soldiers who come back from war that have a terrible injury and have to do with one hand. I broke my wrist a summer or so ago by falling off the back of my son's truck because it was raining and I thought I was stepping down the right way and instead I was stepping off the wrong part of the truck into thin air. Now here's the black pagoda and it looks like it made it through okay. And she had, isn't it pretty? Oh that is so pretty I've been wanting a lipstick plant for so long. I don't know much about them except supposedly they're easy. Okay, I'm going to have to pause this again, folks. Alright, here we go again. And see the roots? I wonder how long it took Suzette for it to get roots. It's so pretty. It feels like it's a little wilted. But I think that's from the heat, not from drying out. So I'm going to put this one down in that water. And what pretty paper. All these flowers. If she's like me, she's probably recycling stuff. Well, let's see what else is in here. Nothing in there. One more. Oh, this was the pretty philodendron. It's on the bottom. It's been carrying the heavy load. Let's see how well I can get it out. Paper towel, or napkin, or paper towel, to cushion it. And here comes the plant. Oh, look how pretty. And I believe this is the brandy philodendron. Look at that leaf. Oh my gosh. Look at that, how healthy. And I'm not going to open this. It's in soil. There's a twisty there. And it's nice and damp, so I'm going to get a pot ready. Look how pretty. Oh, Suzette, thank you so very, very much. And let me just give you a big kudos and a big thank you. Look how long this is. That is huge. All right. Thank you so much, Suzette. You did a great job. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And here's a little update on some of my orchids. This is the one that was pat was in moss. But it lost maybe a couple blooms. But I want you to see how big the bloom is. This is why I bought it. These are huge blooms. So it's doing well, but I think I'm going to put it outside because there's only about a month of summer vacation left. This is one that's been blooming since probably November. I bought it in December, and it threw a new spike. So see, here's one spike, and it, it's losing that one. I guess it's entitled to since it's been since December, and here's the 
new spike. It's like wonky. But anyhow, you, I'll show you the difference in size even though they look the same. See that? It's like about three fingers wide. And see this one? It's more than four fingers tall, I guess I should say. And then here's the other one. It's the same. <gasps> I thought I broke a flower off. It's hard to see with the backlight. This one I couldn't pass up at the supermarket. You want to see how tiny? I said I wasn't going to buy any more tiny ones. That one's very, very tiny. I wish I could get it to do good. This is one, I call that one Monet. It looks almost like a, let's see, what are those ones that have the great Vanda, the way it's growing with the long leaves. But it's a Phalaenopsis. And this was my white waterfall that had hardly any roots and it's down to just two blooms. Now those blooms didn't fall off, remember? because of the fact that I repotted it in bark from moss, it, they fell off because there were no roots. They were all rotted. And this isn't salvia. This is small pink butterfly from Martin's. And this must be another one I need to pot. Oh, <laughs> it's this one. Let's see if I can get it. I water.